Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we will discuss the IPC nomenclature of ether compounds. Ether compounds. So how to identify the ether compounds? Always remember the general formula for ether is R O R prime. Here the R and R prime both are alkyl groups and there is an oxygen between two alkyl groups. Okay, so this is ether. Now another thing is that this R and R prime both can be same or both can be different. Okay, so now take one example. Suppose CH3 O CH3 here you can see R and R prime both are same group methyl group and one oxygen atom is there between two alkyl group so this is an ether so in ether the in general formula to find out the IOPC name is alkoxy alkane alkoxy alkane so this one is ether here alkane group is methyl so the name will be methoxy methane okay now take an another example suppose ch3 o c2h5 right here you can say the R and R prime, the these two groups are different. One is methyl, other one is ethyl group, right? So in methyl group, only one carbon atom present. In ethyl group, two carbon atoms are present. So we can say this ethyl group has long chain. Then compared to this methyl group, so here the alkoxy part will be the small hydrocarbon chain part and alkane part will be the long hydrocarbon chain part that means this one is the small chain because only one carbon atom so this one is methyl group so this will be the alkoxy part so we will write methoxy and this is long chain hydrocarbon part because two carbon atoms are present so it will be alkane part this is ethane so al methoxy ethane okay take another example c2h5 o c3 H7 okay now here you can see both the R group and R prime group both are different one is ethyl group and the one is propyl group here two carbon chain here three carbon chain so this is the small chain part so it will be the alkoxy part so we will write ethoxy okay and this is the long chain part so we will write as alkane so this one is propane because three carbon atom. So the full name is ethoxy propane. So these are IPC name. Now these compounds have also common name. So how to find out those common names? First of all, see this one. Here you can see two methyl groups are present, right? So we can say the common name will be di because 2 that's why di then methyl group di methyl then this whole compound is ether so di methyl ether so this is the common name.
okay here you can see one methyl group and one ethyl group is pre are present now ethyl e come first at practically then m so we will write ethyl then methyl then this whole compound is ether so ethyl methyl ether so this is the common name okay similarly in the last case it will be ethyl propyl ether so that one will be the common name